Rachel, you you love wearing bright lipstick, don't you? Yeah. And it's really going to be big all the way up through winter, all the bright colours. Um, and especially oranges, oranges and reds. So I'm going to put some bright orange on for you today. It's probably different. You love your reds, don't you? Yeah, I tend to go for the reds. Okay, so what we're going to do first is put a bit of concealer right round the edge of your mouth. That will give some good definition with your... And this, I mean, you could use uh, any old concealer, really. This is, this is quite um, a hard pencil one, so it makes it easier to go around your lips. But if you just have a push-up concealer or a little palette one, you could use that as well. OK. And what are the reasons for doing this? Uh, this gives a nice um, waxy edge. It probably looks um, in camera like you've been drinking milk because you've got right. a, little, a, wa a sort of whiter look around here. I'm going to blend that down a little bit. That makes the lipstick pop out as well. It makes yeah. it really definite. Um, and also, it stops your colour feathering. You know, exactly. your colour feathers into your lips. This gives a nice waxy base so it won't move. Right. Okay, so I'm just going to blend that down a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to use a nude lip liner right. underneath your colour. Again, that gives your lipstick a bit more staying power. And when you're using bright, you need to get right into the corners, don't you? Yeah. Is it good to keep your lip to relax when you're doing this rather than...? Yeah, I tend to just to get people to have a relaxed shape because yeah. then I know where your lip's going to go back to. Um, whereas if you're stretching your lips, they might go back to a shape you're not expecting, I guess. I'm going to use a, a lovely bright orange here. So would this give me sort of the Angelina sort of fuller lips? Yeah, you can. When you're using brights, you can slightly overdraw your lip line as well. Right. Do you do that? Or do you, yeah. yeah. Um, just make sure you've got, obviously, a nice straight line. This got, has got quite a matte finish to it, this one. Again, I'm just taking some off for hygiene reasons. Yeah. Some, you could apply it straight from the bullet, and I've seen you, you can do it. Yeah. I'm not very good with using it. I'm so used to using a brush that that's how I... I think it's one of those work. things, once you get used to it, I mean, I don't need a mirror now. No. You know, I can just sort of do it in the restroom. That's amazing. It always <laughs> amazes me, that. OK, so here comes our bright orange. I tend to start in the middle of the lip and then work out, push it to the edges. The colour of your lip liner should be disguised by your lipstick. You shouldn't be able to see it yeah. once you've put your lipstick on. You don't want that two-tone effect. Mm. No, no. It's, it kind of never works, no. really. Your lip liner is to create a, a line for you to follow and also to give you a stronger base colour. So if, if your lipstick does wear off, there is that extra tone underneath. It just gives you more staying power, really. You should this last most of the day just a couple of touch ups. Yeah, I and mean, when you're wearing bright lipstick, it is high yeah, maintenance. Yeah, yeah. You always have to check yeah. it if you've eaten or drunk yeah. something. That is one thing about it. But um, it, should, it should last. The thing is with reds as well, is they have, they're highly pigmented, aren't they? Yeah. So they do stain a little yeah. bit, which actually gives you a bit more colour uh, and it lasts a bit longer. But you always have to check it when you're wearing bright lips. So would you do the lip liner again as well, just, just keep touching up with the lipstick? Uh, yeah, I'd probably just take the lipstick out with me if I was going out. The lip liner should be, that's enough now, right. it's done. Okay, so there is an extremely fashionable orange lip. <laughs>